Attorney Bizak. General, probably the question you imagine people would ask, but as much as you feel comfortable talking about just what has the last year been like, how tough has it been, and, and just what do you feel like maybe you've learned about that, whether obviously it's not something you wanted to go through, but what do you feel like you've learned about kind of the process you've had to go through? Uh, I mean, uh, I never had to sit out a year before a basketball, so I mean, last year really hurt, but I mean, as you keep getting through it, you start getting, you start thinking of other things and how you can get better off the court. And so that's all focused on just how next year I could be the best player I could be. Trying to go off that, just having not being able to play basketball, I mean, did you kind of go to any other things non-basketball related to kind of keep yourself busy and just kind of stay strong mentally? Um, no, not really. I mean, I just, um, I watched a lot of basketball. I mean, I just tried to be a student of the game, just learn more and more, I mean, as much as I could. And following up on that, on, on that now, you're, you're back and fully clear for all basketball activities. What's it like to be you know, fully back in with the rest of your teammates? I mean, being out of here, I mean, being back, I mean, I'm excited to be back with my teammates, seeing them practice last year, and seeing them, I mean, all the hard fall games they went through last year, I mean, I was motivated to get back, so now I just, I'm excited to be back. Deron, can you talk a little bit about what these uh, three years have been for you, like for you, now that you're a senior, and, and what you want to try to to maximize here in what in the last year? Yeah. Um, it's been, like I said, like up and down, a little, a little bit closer. Um, you know, I have my high moments, I have my down moments, but I'm just looking to enjoy my time with my team this year and uh, um, just enjoy uh, college for my last year. Deron, going through the season that you guys went through last year, what can you kind of impart on the younger guys in terms of you know, dealing with adversity that you think will help, you know, maybe the team collectively this year? Um, just tell them that, you know, it's going to be a long season. We're going to have our ups, we're going to have our downs. As long as we stay focused on the goal and stay focused on each other, we'll, um, we'll, be, uh, we'll be all right. It's for Robin Duran. Um, why is it, in what ways will this team be different? Obviously, the personnel is different, the personality is going to be different, but what what makes you feel like this is going to be a better team than the one last year? Uh, really, I'd just say the way we were practicing, um, the team chemistry. I'm not saying it was bad last year, but I mean, I feel like we're uh, together this year, and um, we're just taking it day by time. We just have to focus on improving every day. Oh, yeah. Follow what Rob said. Just um, taking it day by day, um, our chemistry, and... Uh, just focusing on what we need to do uh, to get each other better each and every day. Jerron, you've obviously played against a lot of good bigs in your college career. Give us a player's take on Joey Bronk. What's he do well? How can he, how can he impact you guys? And Joey, just, he's a leader on and off the floor. He, um, he brings a lot of energy. Um, he, won the, uh, he won the title this year, I mean, over the summer for Warriors. So he just brings a lot of energy on and off the floor. He's a, he's a loud voice for us. To follow up on that, just talk a little bit about Trace Jackson Davis, who's also due to the team, and maybe a little bit about uh, Race Thompson. We should see a lot more minutes this year. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, obviously, from, um, what you see from Race last year, you know, he, he, he's a beast on the boards. Um, and he, he brings a lot of toughness to um, the low post area. And Trace is um, not even played a game yet. He's very athletic, very cool, calm, collected kid. So I feel like, you know, he can use his athleticism to, um, to the best of it. Rob, uh, kind of going from last season when you were coming in as a freshman to coming in this year as a sophomore, how has this this past off season differed from last off season when you were making the transition to college? Uh, I'd say the focus I had. Um, I mean, coming in, you don't really know what to expect. So I used to last year as a learning experience, and I'll just build off that off season. Go ahead, to kind of follow up on race. Um, uh, I, I, obviously, your injuries haven't always been kind of as long term as his concussion was, but you have been through one a lot like that where you've had to just be aside for a long time. How did you see him go through that? And I know that there was a period where he even 
kind of had to be away from the team because he had to be kind of protected from light and sound and all those things. And what do you think he got out of that as somebody that probably spends a lot of time working with him in practice? Yeah. Well, I feel like he's just, um, he just knowing that, you know, you got to come to practice with doing the um, work hard and you got to seize um, every moment. I feel like he learned from um, being out and no one likes to be hurt. So he, um, I feel like race takes advantage of each and every moment he has on court now since, um, since that injury. Jerome, being a senior, you've also seen the uh, hardships that Jerome has gone through. What's it mean to have him back to the team and to the team as a player as well, not just mentally? I mean, Jerome's a key guy for our team, and um, and um, it's, you know it's always hard for someone to come into college and then not be able to play there, you know, their first year, especially with the things that he deal with. So, and um, so you know, we was all there for him, and you know, now we're glad that he's back, and you know, he helps us get better. We help him get better. In the back. For Jerome, uh, kind of a two-part, if you don't mind. One, how much, when you were sitting out last year, did you think you could have helped? Uh, how, how frustrating was that? And two, I guess, just what kind of shape are you in now as we get ready to get going? Uh, I mean, last year, I mean, uh, before I got hurt, I mean, I was doing really good. So, I mean, I thought I could help the team out real good. I mean, I felt like the team was, uh, I was really fitting in with the team. What was the second part of that again? kind of shape are you in now as we get ready to get going? Um, and then now, I mean, I feel like I'm better, and I feel like um, I know my role, and I know what coaches are going to expect from me this year. And last year, being a freshman, I didn't really know what, what I was going to expect. So this year, just having experience and being here and just uh, being around everybody uh, just showed me a lot. Rob, coming off your freshman season, as a point guard of the offense, what are you going to be expecting out of yourself this season? Uh, I mean, just be better than I was last week, really. Um, just focus on each day, just uh, win the day, really. Just keep improving myself on and off the on and off the court, so classroom, and um, just being a leader, really. Being a leader with the teammates, and uh, I feel like that will take us a long way. Uh, Jordan, to go to go back uh, to that last answer, kind of. And first off, you mentioned just you were playing pretty well and starting to fit in pretty well before you found out you were out. What was just that emotional part like of you know having that much of a high and then having a low like that? And also, you mentioned uh, you know having a better idea of what your role is. Um, how, how what do you expect your role to be like? You're obviously a guy with a lot of perimeter and uh, post skills. You know, how do you feel like you're going to be used with this group? Uh, I mean, uh, they recruited me for my versatility, and I mean, I feel like I'm versatile, and I feel like. Uh, I could just be anywhere on the court that he wants me to be. And so, I mean, I feel like that can help the team a lot. For Duran or Rob, do you, I'm curious, do you see any changes, any differences in the way that Coach Miller and his staff have approached this this particular season um, as far as things he's emphasizing or anything of that sort? Um, no, not really. I mean, every, every time we practice, we want to go as hard as we can. You know? Just keep pushing every day, so I would say that's a big difference. Jerome, you got anything to add? No, uh, that, that was the right <laughs> Jerome, you've had to deal with uh, your share, fair share of injuries through your career. Uh, tell me a little bit about how you feel right now and how important it is for you to be able to play a full season this year and, and show what you're really capable of. Yeah, no, I feel uh, pretty good right now. Um, I'm, I'm just, you know, taking better precautions to my body. Obviously, um, continue to. Um, you know, improve my diet, um, and but yeah, like I, like you said, overall healthy. Uh, I'm a healthy, healthy as I can be right now. So you know, just continue to uh, work hard in the gym, on and off the court, and um, I feel like if I can play a whole full season, um, you know, that would be a uh, contribute to my team a little bit more, help us out a lot in the long run. I'm sure we talked about watching the game as an observer more. Uh, we're just watching film of your own team. Were you watching NBA games? You know, what basketball were you consuming? Uh, yeah, I was watching a little bit of both. I mean, I was watching college games. I mean, I got to get used to I mean, I'm trying to see how the game is played and, like, what I'm missing while I'm out there. And then I watched NBA, too. I mean, NBA, too, to uh, just... I mean, they're great guys in the NBA, so I mean, if you watch them, I feel like you can get better. Yeah, Rob, uh, Coach mentioned a few times over the summer he thinks you're capable of being uh, 
more of an offensive threat? How do you balance that point guard position kind of being a scorer and a playmaker? And how do you view, you know, maybe that opportunity? Uh, I feel like it starts in practice, so just having that mindset to be more aggressive, I feel like it opens up everything from everybody else. So if I'm more of an offensive threat, it uh, open up lanes for my teammates. Rob, you got a lot of buzz last year about your on-the-ball defense. I guess two parts on that. One, is that something that you can improve on over the course of your career? And two, how much pride do you take in that? Yeah, I feel like you can always improve in whatever you're really good at. But um, I feel like it's a mindset defense is. So, uh, like you said, I take pride in it a lot. So, I mean, I always want to be the best best player I can be. And um, if I'm the best on-ball defender in the league, country, whatever it is, I'm going to try to be Rob, uh, coach said over the summer that Romeo would would stay with you guys, sleep on on sleep on your couch. I mean, what was it like, kind of still having him around, and you know, what did you guys kind of do and hang out, and just having that relationship? Oh uh, yeah, he was my roommate last year, so I mean, obviously we miss him. Uh, we miss him as young team too. So uh, I mean, he's just one of my best friends. So I mean, we're, we'll be really good friends on uh, I mean, it comes to basketball or not. So. Uh, Jerome, you're high school coaches here, yeah, and yeah, you. A, you coach up both described you as somebody sort of obsessed with personal development as a player, that, that getting better every day was something you, you know, you're really obsessed about. Is that kind of a mindset that helped you get through last year? Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, um, it's ways to get better when you're not playing. So, I mean, that's what I really focused on, and that's what I really emphasized on myself to get through my uh, injury. Go here first, Kevin. As much as you're comfortable talking about it, how much do you have to think about, you know, it, this says, you know, sort of managed accordingly, how much do you think about it play to play, just just your, your own body, and, and is it something you can just kind of work through instinctively, I guess? I mean, uh, I'm getting better and better each day, so it's like uh, I'm trying to work through things and it's just a day-by-day -day thing. Duran, your AAU coach, Art Williams, said that you you know, you had the most swag than anyone he's ever met. I mean, how do you kind of maintain that, and what do you think he, he meant by that? Swag? Yeah, swag. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe because how I'm around my teammates, maybe. I kind of, um, I don't know, kind of like to pick on him a lot, I guess. I don't know. I really don't know what he meant by that. Um, I just, um, maybe because of the way I carry myself on the court, my mindset going into the games um, can be a lot, a lot of different things. <laughs> Anything else for this group? All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks.